Christianity is full of miraculous tales, yet the Catholic Church has a very rigorous process for determining if something is truly an act of God. One case currently under consideration is from the most unassuming of places, a small congregation close to the U.S.-Mexican border. Hobbs, New Mexico. Parishioners are attending mass at Our Lady of Guadalupe Catholic Church. Toward the end of the service, people start to notice something strange happening with the statue of the Virgin Mary. The worshipers get out their cell phones and start recording. From the video, it appears the statue is crying actual tears. Take a closer look at the cheek. Many of those who see the video believe this is a supernatural event. And this is not the first time something like this has happened. Religious scholar Diana Pasolka says this tradition goes back centuries. Mary is the mother of God, and she's sad. And sometimes she cries tears of oil, and sometimes she cries tears of blood. These are relics basically thought to have divine power. But how do we know this isn't some hoax meant to deceive the faithful? It's time to ask the experts, is this proof or not? We start with trained engineer and Catholic miracle researcher, Michael O'Neill. Many people gathered to witness this on three different occasions of this statue of the Virgin Mary weeping real tears. First question, did someone stage this? We looked for internal ductwork. Has something been installed inside the statue or outside the statue that would place tears on the eyes in a mechanical way? And that was ruled out. We also have to consider somebody sneaking in at off hours and putting droplets in the eyes and then alerting everyone saying, see, we're looking at a weeping statue. But we know that from the reports that people were gathered around the statue and saw the statue begin to weep tears. So the tears began to form on their own with witnesses around. So O'Neill investigates if perhaps the tears were caused by a leaky pipe. There is no leaky pipe either below or above or inside or around the statue. It's completely a standalone statue. Finally, could the tears be caused by condensation? O'Neill visits the foundry that made the bronze statue. This was the singular case of all the many statues that they had created that exhibited this phenomenon. And we look at these statues, they're made of a bronze alloy. And so as such, they cannot retain water. Physicist Dr. Hakim Olushehi also weighs the condensation theory. What's special about the eyes that make that the location where it occurs and nowhere else on the statue? It wasn't sweating, it was crying. So what is it about the statue and the location of the eyes that would make it cry but not do anything else? And it's even more strange when you consider what the tears were made of. You would expect the liquid to be water, but the liquid's been tested, and it turns out it's not water. It's olive oil. So that makes this even weirder. So if it's not a hoax, a leak, or condensation, then what is it? This seems to be an authentic case of a miraculous weeping statue. We may not know why it's happening, but we know that it is happening. The Catholic Church has yet to verify this incident as a miracle. But so far, there's no earthly explanation for the Weeping Mary of New Mexico. And that olive oil is what does it for us. Our verdict, an unexplained phenomenon. And if you want to call it a miracle, you go right ahead.